Hey Ryan, it's Scott Uther from Phil Bowen Marine, um, offshore boats New Zealand distributor for Australia. Um, just handing over Tony's boat today, so uh, we'll take you through it. Yeah, just by looking at the sleek lines, uh, it's a boat that you, you look at it and you can't keep your eyes off it. Um, the 18 degree dead rise goes into a nice sharp nose, um, which gives you great, great entry. Then we'll go on to the trailer. The trailer is a uh, work of art. The design of the trailer keeps the boat low in the, low down in the in bunk, bunk setup, it keeps the load to the road, easy for towing, launching. Um, the, the stone guard is custom designed to fit around the boat. But the most, the most, the most important thing is, is the quality of build of the trailer. Most people look at it and is, is a wow factor. Um, yeah, so we'll just go go along. You can see you can see the design of the bunks, keel rollers, Teflon guides into the rollers, and just with rollers to support it from from rocking. A uh, very simple design. Uh, but it just simply just works. As you walk around the boat, you can see the cage set up, uh, which a lot of boats don't have in Australia. They, like, they seem to like them in New Zealand for, for jigging and, and for beach launching and, and things like that. Um, with the gate set up, where you can just open the gate and jump straight on, close the gate, and not worrying about putting a ladder up for, for easy uh, access. You've got the, the 175 transducer, you got the zip wakes, uh, trim tabs, um, which keeps you keeps you straight underway. Um, as you can see here, the eight mil plate hull um, is is one of the standout features of this boat. It keeps the, the gravity, the weight gravity down to the waterline, helps the stability, and obviously helps with the ride and, and the quietness of the hull. Coming across to this side, you got the ladder, great wide ladder, which goes into goes into that. Cage set up as well. Um, really neat, really, really clever design. <laughs> also, as you, as you come up into the boat, nice and sturdy, you can see the, the welded in tuna tubes, uh, live bait, live bait for those guys that like the offshore fishing. Probably start with the bait board tone, sort of a nice, nice area here. And as if you want to put the barbecue on there or clean the fish, um, or even just, just there for, for fishing. Um, nice area, nice wide bait board. And then you can just fold it back over. Keeps the bait out of the sun. As you notice, you've got all these drawers all around the boat to keep your tackle away. Very handy, um, and once again, I haven't seen them in too many boats before either. Nice and sturdy, so they don't rattle. You've got, also got these cool drawers here. Once again, great for storage, heaps of room. Okay, and also got these nice little, nice little feature here where we can lock that in. Holds it nice and sturdy. And you can grab these cushions and sit on there for a seat. Nice and sturdy. And also once you're finished with them, and just go in here. Let's see what I'm doing. Pull it. It's nice and out of the way. As we walk through the boat, you've got the icy, icy tech seats. We've got a small entry, put your fish in. Also great for sitting. Um, obviously flush out toilet. Heaps of storage space. A great design here with the canvas. So 
So it gives you that protection and like put stuff away so it doesn't go everywhere. Or you're underway or when you're storing it overnight. Or if someone goes to the toilet or you want to sleep. The cabin is 1.9. So anyone, yeah, over 6'2", 6'3", has got plenty of room to sleep. With a lot of boats at 6 metre mark, you sort of lose a lot of cabin space to that deck space. But with this boat, you've got great cabin area, good deck space, and also you've got the, the cage set up so you can fish out the back as well. Yeah. So once we come into hit into the helm area here, we've got the beautiful new DTS controls for Mercury Marine. Um, very smooth, very sleek and easy to use. Come up to the Sinrab, Sidrad product. Okay, you've got your, your 12 inch screen with your 403, 403 vessel view, your zip wakes and all your switch panel. Um, all nice and neat, compact and easy to use. Um, obviously you got your Dodge Flex hydraulic steering. Um, yeah, once you notice when you're in the boat, you notice how the, the six mil toughened screen, um, one piece, very good visibility. You got the side windows, which you can actually put your head out, have a good look, good ventilation. And once again, it's all, all, all glass, no perspex. Everywhere you look around, you got nice, Nice grab rails, everywhere easy to hang on to. Everywhere is really good access to, to, to grab rails. Um, the side ones are a really cool feature where there's a nice little channel there where you can hold your, hold your hand in there anywhere in the cabin, hang on to. Um, once again, you've got a 300 mil gunnel. So really good access to walk around the boat. Really simple to walk around. Very sturdy, nothing really moves under feet. As you can see, we've designed the Lone Star winch at the front. Great deep anchor well. Everything fits in there quite easily. And you've got a nice little compartment where you can sort of walk on as well. So you're not tripping over anything on the deck. You've got a nice, nice strong hard top. So you didn't need to put something on the roof. You could with ease. You've got a front facing LED spotlight there on the front um, for night vision um, you've got your rod rod rack at the top as well nice and neat keep the rods out of the way they've also added a tow point here too so if you wanted to put a a um, like a ski ski pole on there or a tow point um, it's quite easy to do as well um, yeah so once another feature is here as well these these seats pull out which is which I've never seen in a boat before. Um, they just go in here to stow away. They just lock in. Future of, the idea of this is to give you a really good deck space, really good deck space, and also you can move the esky out of the way for another seat down the back as well if you wanted to. But this uh, cool feature, you pull your pull your footrest out, just put it in the side there. and a bunk comes out so a cool feature is too you, you grab this cushion off if you did want to have a sleep here's the cushion I'm 100 kilo so 6 foot 2 plenty of room so a feature of a 6 metre boat being able to sleep four people comfortably is uh, quite a cool feature and clips out of the way but yeah once that seat's out of the way you've got a lot of space if you're just trawling for the day and you want extra room you've got the driver here and then you've got full open deck um, once again that's a pretty cool feature that I haven't seen before in any boats where you can actually put your seats away um, 
nice and nice and easy. You can still lock the cabin up, but also you've got a full deck space. Another feature that you don't see in a lot of boats is the height of the hardtop. For a six metre boat, I'm six foot two, you sort of really have to duck into cabins. Where this boat is actually good height. So you, as you walk into it, you've got plenty of headroom, you've got good visibility and really straight lines. It's, it's just a pleasure to be, to be in a cabin with the visibility of this and the practicability of it um, with the grab rails, the six mil glass and the area where you can move your seats in and out creates really good space. So with the 300 mil gunnel, it gives you great space underneath the gunnel to put things like gaff holders. Um, you've got a little thing here where you can release it. You can put in anything you want to put in there. So rod holders or anything can just be added to that. Also, you look under here, we've got the Fusion fusion speakers, waterproof Fusion speakers. Little cool feature here is a 12 volt plug for your electric reels. Uh, if you want to do that deep fishing offshore. Um, also, you've got your deck wash hose all plumbed in. Um, you also got your, your door here, so you can sort of step through. You can have that as a seat as well. Uh, underway, you can use it as a seat. And also, you got a nice little area there as well. Uh, that's that's a, like a kill for your bait or for, for fish or whatever. But over the other side, you got your live bait tank. So you got live bait tank with your window. Um, as you notice, you got all oh, you got your stainless steel gas struts there, um, so it keeps it nice and nice and smooth. Got aluminium hinges, um, nice and sturdy. Um, and once in, in in big weather, you got your door, so you can just put that in there on both sides and keeps the water out as well. But the cool feature about this boat is um, stepping through. And for fishing, if you're squid fishing or jigging for tuna or, or kingies, gives you good access outside the boat. Also, if you're whiting fishing, it just it just gives you another area to be able to fish um, and to be able to be able to uh, jump off and swim for the kids. Easy easy to get people in out of the boat. Um, it's a cool cool little feature, I reckon, which you, you don't see in a lot of boats in Australia. So it's nice and sturdy too, so you can, you can lean up against it, walk through easy when the motor's down. Thank you very much to Scott for providing us that information, uh, which is important for those uh, who want to see how this vessel is uh, configured. However, there's a bit of seating that we got to do as well, and the seating uh, is absolutely brilliant in this uh, modular uh, unit that it's been sewn off with the seats position and exchange from left to right to look at the stern of the vessel. Brilliant idea from uh, the uh, offshore New Zealand team there. Uh, also the standard position as we all know it uh, in the seating uh, area uh, is extremely comfortable with a nice footrest uh, removable as well as you have seen previously and also you can use those seats to be available as a, a leaning extremely comfortable in my view i was very very uh, um, surprised to how comfortable that position is when you're driving around uh, so this is uh, and also a very very good idea from the team uh, thank you to some of the sponsors who have uh, sent us some goodies to put on it as well and we will show some of the uh, new ideas that we have provided including an Ingle uh, MTV 45 litre uh, fridge uh, 240 volt or 12 volt it can be also be plugged in uh, with adjustable base and we have actually modified that base to actually be adjustable and stop at uh, three or four or five sections that you prefer to stop uh, with a uh, nice little cushion at the top uh, matching the color of the fridge for those who want to have that uh, as an extra seat uh, and that will provide it's cold when you need it so brilliant idea and thank you to uh, the sponsors for that uh, the middle section of that uh, stern has also got another uh, door where you have access to your water separator and all of the pumps and you can also have uh, access from the top of the platform as well
and here is the also the area for the uh, twin batteries uh, plus the switches a very smart uh, way of uh, presenting that as well and plenty of space uh, and thank you very much also to uh, Blue Bottle Marine for adjustable rod holders which have been provided across uh, the show I hope we enjoyed uh, the filming of this particular vessel and we hope to see you in the water soon take care